Good morning. We're going to stick in Romans 12 this morning, and I, I want to read to you um, verse 10 of Romans 12 as we look at another one another. Verse 10 reads, love one another with brotherly affection. Now, we've already talked about love one another, operating in, above, in another's best interest. And then it sort of texturizes it for us, right? That you don't do it coldly, you don't do it begrudgingly, but you do it with brotherly affection. You do it as a friend, as someone who really cares about another person and who is, actually likes them. Um, like you relate to people, like you like them. The last portion of the verse outdo one another in showing honor honor there is the idea of demonstrating the worth of someone the worth of someone so uh, the idea that every person is created in the image of god gives us the basis for understanding that we need to relate to each other as people who God has given dignity. Psalm 8 tells us that man is created with glory and honor. And so at a base level, we approach one another as people who are made in the image of God. But then add to that that God deemed your brother or your sister in Christ such that he would display his love for them and uh, mediate to, to them his gospel, his good news, they are in that way co-heirs with you of Christ. You are called then to see, made in the image of God, a recipient of the gospel. Now, this double-layered person, you are to outdo, outdo one another in showing how much worth they have and showing honor. Outdo one another. The idea here is, be eager. Be eager. Are you seeking today to look at your brothers and sisters in Christ? Are you seeking to look at the people in your church? Are you seeking to look at those recipients of God's gospel alongside you? Are you seeking with eagerness to honor them? Not just when the opportunity presents itself, but thinking through how you could do it. How you could act in a way toward them that would show them honor, that would display value, that would attribute worth, that would, in that way, affirm what God has already said about them. Namely, they're made in his image and they've received the gospel and are co-heirs with you. So I want to encourage you. Today, look, look. How can you work hard, be eager to show honor toward another. May the Lord bless you today.